Well, hi there. This is my um, new uh, Sculpto Plus. Uh, I just got it recently and it's up and running already. Uh, right now I've got a Geroid vase from Thingiverse. Uh, it seems to be doing quite a good job on it and it's doing on the normal proprietary filament from uh, Sculpto, which is the roll, it looks like that, the black. Right. Um, I really like its design. Everybody sees and tell me sort of go get the Ender 3. This is no good, but I'm quite pleased for what it should do and what it does, it does quite well. I'm not going to do any high detail on this, but it's running well and it's very quiet. And you can move it wherever you want to, it's just a pick up and a handle right there. And you can just take it up in a small footprint and you can put it in the closet or something like that. So, um, easy to set up. And I know it's plastic, but it's really good plastic. It's not Mickey Mouse plastic. It's uh, designed in Denmark and engineered there, and it's built in Poland. And they've been upgrading this machine since the first one came, so it's always getting better. And the software is always getting better as well. Uh, there's a better build plate on it. It's a build tack plate. Um, I like the plate, and people say that sometimes things don't stick to it, but use some methylated spirits, some red spirits or whatever you use in these small camping stoves or whatever, and rub it a couple of times with that, and don't touch it afterwards, and it should stick, and my prints stick, I can hardly get them off. Um, so, that's a good or bad point for some people, but for me it's great. Um, it's a quality item in the way that it's got a ED3 or E3D head, I think it is. It's a UK manufacturer of uh, hot heads. Um, I think it's the V6 in this one, I'm not sure. Um, it's good. A good head. Unfortunately, I think the head can do a lot more, but of course it's, it's kind of locked in the, what you call the, the normal mode which this machine has, so everything is done um, beforehand, so you can't you can't sort of experiment with this hot head or, or remove the, the temperatures up unless you go into expert mode. Um, another issue I know which this machine has is the uh, the gear, the filament gear clogs up. Uh, the one right in the back here, I can move around and show you. Um, I, mine hasn't done that yet, but I'm going to get a better filament gear. What I would suggest that the company does is, if you have to get in here a lot, it would be nice with just some easy uh, twist screws which you can just uh, untwist or a small magnet that's placed so you can just lift off this uh, piece and do whatever you have to do or clean and then it's slip back on and it'll just pop back on instead of having to screw everything apart because it's going to be a service point obviously um, in the short runnings of this machine and, and another thing I like about this machine is the cable um, and also the power unit the power unit is actually quite a good quality it's hefty it's Proper plastic, not Mickey Mouse plastic, and uh, a small lead that shows it's working, and also has a shroud or a ring, a metal ring, and it's really sturdy. Nothing is kind of loose or wobbly, and it has an on and off switch. Not many printers have that in the cheaper range from China, for example, you just have a plug, and once you plug it in, it's on. So, and here you have cables which are properly covered. Um, um, yeah, it's running really, really well. Very, very quiet. I like that. Very quiet. And the print's doing quite well. So far, mine has done very well. I need to test it a little bit more. Another thing I would suggest is that you close all your doors and, and, and make sure you don't have any windows open or and keep an ambient temperature around 22 degrees inside. Don't don't sort of have your windows open and temperature changes and wind blowing through because your print is going to fail. Uh, keep it nice and cozy and and relaxed and don't uh, tramp around in the house or if you have a floor which is a bit sort of uh, which resonates. Don't don't walk sort of uh, hard past it or again it will show up on your prints. Um, but so far it's done very very well. Um, the build tack plate again I use some spirits to keep this uh, on but I know there's a new plate out which you can bend which is a bit easier uh, don't use a metal scalpel on it because you'll just damage the plate it'll look just crap afterwards um, yeah the propriety filament is, is, is a what should I call 
a bit of an issue if you'd like to try the filaments then your guarantee is going to be null and void I will probably try some of the filaments uh, so far the black is doing very well mm, I would like to try a black which is a bit, a bit more metallic if you would like to call it um, there's lots of good filaments out there so you know uh, that's half of the fun is trying different filaments and so on but but for what this machine does it does very well it's easy to put away it's easy to set up it's easy to get on the net with it and to print without wires or or uh, small cards you have to put in and it's it's really 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 nice it's a very good starter printer and I'm in my eyes you wouldn't be doing anything wrong in getting up as your first printer it's a great printer so thanks for watching